Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood. We are back with episode 10, Separate Destinations. Last episode, we got kind of, I guess, interpersonal issues with Edward and Al, which we haven't seen before necessarily. Al had this idea implanted in him that Ed had kind of created him instead of them actually being brothers. He had done this on purpose and planted these memories, but in all in all, it all worked itself out in the end. And we also got a little bit more of Scar, how he was rescued out of the sewers and how that alchemist that he met in the prisons, uh, he had actually, or that we had, we had met in the prisons he had actually met him after the ishvalan war uh, also that his arm the tattoo on his arm was like a special bond to him from his people not really sure hoping some stuff has cleared up this episode oh i guess it's not straight to the intro this time the power of one man doesn't amount to much oh oh maybe it's is this the ishvalan war this looks like ishvalans i'll do everything humanly possible to protect the people I love. mustang right back in the war and in turn they'll protect the ones they love it seems like the least we tiny humans can do. Oh, sounds like a pyramid scheme. <laughs> We're getting a little Just bit of a thing. flashback. If you eventually protect everyone, then you'll have to figure out a way to stand at the top of the pyramid. Hmm. How good it must feel up there, Hughes. Hmm. I don't know. I'll never be able to find out without all the support I can get. So corrupt. You've got my support, but you could have just asked me. I like seeing them both the back in a... Uh... And maybe your naive idealism might actually do some good. He sketches me out, man. He really does. That's Fuhrer, King Bradley, right? Arnold. I still need to organize and pack up all of my paperwork before we transfer to Central. I haven't had much time. I wonder what the next next like lead is going to be. Pretty vivid dream there. It was just an old memory. Is that actually all it was, though? Separate destinations. It's odd that he let you live. And what about this? Oh, he's telling him about the about the. Not to mention the Ouroboros tattoos and the Do I call them the service. sins? And Dr. Marco claims that they were using the Philosopher's Stones in Ish. I think of the seven deadly Every sins. Clue we have to work with seems to lead to its own mystery. They are talking about some seriously crazy stuff in there. You've heard the old cliche about how curiosity <laughs> the cat, right? <laughs> These two are kind of dorky. I love it. Looking for Edward Elric. Like they're out of alchemist. Wait, sure. is that fear? His... No way. And some priors on anyone with an Ouroboros tattoo. And why you do that? He's gonna walk in on them the talking about it. Team that was working with Dr. Marco. Totally is him, isn't it? Sorry to interrupt. <laughs> Yikes! This is just an informal visit. He sketches yes, me sir. out, man. But may I please ask the occasion, sir? I thought a nice melon might cheer you up. I guess. A melon? Just like. <laughs> Thank you, sir. Just like one big I melon. Been checking up on some of the senior staff. Is this true, Major? Is that like a thing in places? Yes, sir. I was. You should know that nothing gets past me, Major. And Dude, I, I don't like him. Metal alchemist, tell me what you know about the Philosopher's Stone. Nah. For your sake, if you don't know too much. Dude, it's like a, the show wants us to be kind of unsettled by him. <laughs> like I, like they, they want us to be I'm suspicious. There's no reason for you to be so uptight. I know that there's been some suspicious activity within the military. Dude, Al! <laughs> and, and it's necessary for something to be done about it. A list of the research team assigned to study the Philosopher's Stone. Every person listed in this document has been reported missing. It seems the enemy is always one step ahead of us. Even with my vast network of informants, I have no way to determine how far Dude, I swear. infiltrated. The most we know about them is that they know a lot about us. He's evil. This is proving much more dangerous than we imagined. Also, why is his Major first name King? You've all proven yourselves to be men of a trustworthy character. You have not proven this that, that I can trust you. I'm giving you the direct order to forget this matter and all that it concerns as our strongest line of offense and our only form of defense is discretion. Do not trust anyone. Keep this to yourselves at all costs. Oh, don't trust anyone? Not even you? When I deem the time is right to confront the enemy, I expect you to be prepared to join me in the effort. Sir! Still, he's wanting to shut down their work. Damn, bodyguard thinks he's my shadow. <laughs> he wants them to stop poking you around. I'm stuck away to get a few minutes of privacy. What? Well, farewell for now. Why does he have to sneak out? <laughs> what the? They're just all just a tornado passing by a tornado if there's anything i can do about that i just but i did go and buy the train tickets you asked for and where are you heading off to this time what's in dublin well with the way things have gone lately al and i decided we should go back and visit our old teacher al shaking i think i'm too scared bro. that's what i was <laughs> asking about don't you check it out on me now i'm scared too okay huh Okay, I ask this question a lot. You have a rather lengthy journey ahead of you. There it is, all the way down here. It's not too bad. Uh, 
Doesn't seem like it. Oh my! I'm surprised she hasn't been there. Somebody has to pay for my travel fare. And why does it have to be me? I've always wondered what their who their teacher was. Like the fact that they skimmed over it was so weird to me because I felt like I've got to call and tell Grandma. I feel like someone has like prodigal prodigal as she'll make you a fine wife someday. Bruh. I would rather talk about my wife anyway. Daddy's got to go to work now. Daddy, come here. Okay. Daddy has a bunch of important work. He's to be so done. wholesome. I'll do it as fast as possible. <gasps> well, Miss Rock. If anything ever happens to any of that family, I will be pissed. Fun. Oh, and tell the boys I said goodbye. We really appreciate your hospitality. Our home is your home too. Take care of yourself. Bye. All right. Well, maybe we actually will get a lead on on their teacher because it's so important he's such a they're talented alchemist and we never got to see that much aside from like oh yes they were trained like they're why is it suddenly so important that you guys yeah see true well, there are a couple of reasons i'm a little tired to get my ass kicked oh he wants Wait, to be trained is this some kind of combat teacher oh that'd be nice but sorry it's not a simple quit that, okay? fighting tell me about our fighting we feel like seeing our teacher will help us grow and make us stronger on the inside what's reason two to see what she can tell us about the philosopher's stone does everybody know about the philosopher's stone we haven't gotten any closer to figuring it out let's hope she at least gives us a chance to ask her you should be more worried about explaining your appearance oh considering that she doesn't know she's gonna kill us when she finds out what happened oh my nice to at least have had a girlfriend before i die <laughs> i should get a new teacher she doesn't know what happened to them yikes yes. it's apparently in response to that sham religion that was preying on the townspeople the east has been a real hotbed huh? that was the place that we saw it's not just the east there have been reports of uprisings in the north and west as well colonel hughes is something wrong i'll be in the archive room he found something out Leor, these endless uprisings, the outright genocide of the Ishvalan people. Wait. How could this even happen? And who could have orchestrated something as They used Ishvalans for the philosophy. Tell the Fuhrer right away. <gasps> oh no. Oh, Lieutenant Colonel, hello really isn't the word I'm looking for. Stop! Wait. Wait, did they use Ishvalans for the philosophy? Cool tattoo you got there. <laughs> Oh my gosh! No! Hughes! Oh my gosh! Damn it! There's no way! <gasps> he stabbed her! Oh my gosh! What was she? Wait, what it what is she? Please turn around! Oh my, you're back again already. Who gets to hear about your daughter this time? Help her! Help him! Lieutenant Colonel, you're bleeding! It's not there. Really? I need a private line. Uh, call backup! There's a murderer! Oh my gosh. Sorry. Forget I was here. What? <laughs> Sir! Need you to connect me to Colonel Mustang right away. Not allowed to connect from an outside line. You are speaking to Lieutenant Colonel Hughes, and this is a matter of life and death. Can I have your code, please? What? Are you trying to waste time? That's please, protocol. Uncle, sugar, Oliver, then eight, zero, zero. Please don't tell me he... Please hold while I connect you. Will you hurry? It's an emergency! <sighs> Dude, no! Wait, what? I need to ask you to put down the receiver. What? Wait. Go on. Just hang it up. You look just like but you're not. Oh. Who the hell are you, lady? It's someone I'm second lieutenant Ross, sir. You're not second lieutenant Ross. She has a mole under her oh, left eye. Oh, true. You're observant. That one, yeah. This is not happening. Please tell me I'm hallucinating or something. Dude, you really are a smart man, Lieutenant. His Kennedy. family. His daughter. You got a wife and daughter waiting for me. So the last thing I'm gonna He's gonna pull something. Is die on them. <laughs> That's you, evil. Surprised. Oh my god. Dude, is Hughes dead? There's a Lieutenant Colonel Hughes on hold for you. He claims it's urgent. Of course he does. Hughes. I don't have time for daughter stories. Hughes. Oh my gosh. Hughes. No! This is so evil! You throw away your lives for nothing. Hughes is so wholesome! Gracia, I'm so sorry. Remember, Daddy loves you. I'm sorry.
is hands down the best apple pie ever. Isn't it though? <laughs> Mrs. Hughes is a really excellent cook. To put it mildly, not to mention that quiche she made for us. I actually wrote the quiche down on a list of things I'm gonna eat when I have a mouth again. Well, she gave me That's recipe, really cute. So I don't even want to see the daughter's reaction, dude. Awesome, this thanks. is so screwed up. Yeah, but Hughes is obnoxious. He doesn't know when to shut up and he spoils his daughter rotten. Ed. come by your hospital room a lot to talk to you. He always made it a point to come and keep me company. And it didn't matter when. We should figure out some way to thank him next time we're there. Yeah, we should. Ah! I hate this. Hughes is dead. He was the only one that figured it out. That it's all corrupt. It is all corrupt. But that would mean the sins are working with the government? That doesn't make sense. Why are they putting all that dirt on Daddy? Stop! They're burying him, dear. But if Daddy gets buried, then you won't be able to do all his work. <laughs> Daddy said he has a bunch of work he needs to do. No! Stop it! You were supposed to be helping me work my way up through the ranks. Damn crazy fool. Colonel. This is so depressing. We really are horrible creatures, aren't we? Desperately trying to crack the theories of human transmutation right now. I think I understand what drove those boys when they tried to bring back their mother. I think it's the perspective now. Are you all right, Colonel? Yeah, I'm fine. Except it's a terrible day for rain. It's not raining. Yes, it is. Oh my gosh. Oh, so it is. We're back. It's getting chilly. It's a terrible day for rain. Jeez, dude. Oh my god. Boy, and then he just left. But he had this look like he realized something terrible. So he must have been attacked in here. He left a trail of blood and runs all the way down. I'm surprised the hall. he didn't clean it up. Apparently, he was heading straight to the phone room after he He's left. Hurt. And he said he needed to call someone. He just walked out instead. He didn't even die. Yeah, why did he stop? Doesn't make he sense. He obviously picked up on something big. He was going to call from the office. Oh. Something occurred to him and he used He realized it was a corrupt the office. Code that he gave the operator is only supposed to be used for military emergencies. What the hell was he trying to tell me? Man. It's like a mystery show Major now. Armstrong, as you asked me to. Oh my gosh. We have a strong lead on some potential suspects and the murder of Lieutenant. Oh, I wonder who their leads are. Why aren't you hunting them down right now? We know who committed the crime, but we're unsure of their identity. That doesn't make sense, Major. Clarify for yeah. me. Yeah. I'm afraid I cannot. I'm telling you to explain as your commanding officer. Disobeying a direct order, Major. I cannot tell you. <laughs> Why? Fair enough. I apologize for my tone. You're dismissed. Sir. Wait, what? Why is he allowed to- Actually, sir, there is another matter I've neglected to mention. The Elric brothers were recently here. They only departed a couple of days ago. They were here in Central? Yes, sir. For a number of days. And did they manage to find whatever they were looking for? No, sir. That would be rather difficult as they are pursuing a legend. <laughs> is that so? So, I guess he wasn't as helpful to us as we had hoped. But not a waste of our time. He was more helpful than he meant to be. He said that they had a strong lead, singular tense, on a few suspects. Oh. Suspects, which leads me to believe they suspect a group is He's inadvertently telling him information. And refusal to talk, even though I ordered him to, can only mean there's got to be an officer above me that's ordered him to Oh, the plot like thickens. Senior ranking. Wow. The last clue was that he happened to mention the Elric brothers. They were researching. The Philosopher's Stone. He gave him all the clues. I say it, but it sounds like there might be some kind of conspiracy going on. Yo. How does it all tie together? But Hughes, I'd say he deserves an answer. Once I'm transferred to Central, I'm going to start shaking things up until I find one. I will become the Fuhrer of this country, and I will take vengeance for Hughes. I will do these yes, things sir. because I have to do them. I'm going after the senior staff. You Mustang 2020. You even have to ask. Man. What an episode.
I was not expecting a major death like that. That's insane, dude. That's so sad. Hughes was so cute. I mean, it was so wholesome. He just loved his daughter with all his heart. Oh my gosh. Well, the plot does in fact thicken. I was wondering what we were going to get to this episode, but it was really set. It's really setting up an even more extended line in terms of what we're pursuing. So now we have the Ellick brothers going after their old teacher that originally taught them. Supposedly, they're going to be very mad about what the Ellick brothers attempted of course they would be because it was i imagine they were they were given a set of principles and as far as this goes the whole conspiracy theory thing it makes a lot of sense because we've already seen that this this whole government is kind of corrupt and kind of keeps secrets from each other i don't know the fear the fear really creeps me out he sketches me out he has to have some kind of involvement there's no possible way that he's not involved in one way or another but i imagine it has to be the the sins that are involved and they're working directly underneath the fear maybe they're controlling him i don't really know either way really good episode of course let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if i missed anything what you thought of like what i thought but that being said i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day as per usual and i'll catch you in the next one peace